dog, dog, dog. I'm sure I just saw a dog. Did I imagine that? Did I just imagine that? Dog, 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 dog. This is crazy. Oh, smell them. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Hold on, everybody. We're going round. Wild dogs! Hey, see, we do just have to sit on quarantine and the luck comes to us. Where have you gone? Is it just one? I can only see one. Well, I only saw one. Where'd you go? Let's just stop for a second. We must be straggling. Come, let's go to the Impala. The, the Impala herd's right there. That was so weird. From one endangered species to another, huh? I'm gonna sit on quarantine more often. Okay, where have they gone? These Impala look suspiciously quiet and relaxed. Did I imagine a wild dog? Surely not. Surely I could not have imagined a wild dog. I mean, I'm tired, but that's ridiculous. But these Impala, no, but I could smell them. I could smell them. That's not possible. I can imagine a sight, but not a smell. Maybe the Impala haven't realized yet. I'm going mad. Behind us, here we go. I'm not going mad. Thank goodness. Station's visual of one Madutch on Gallagher Shortcut. Oh, Madutch on Gallagher Shortcut Junction Access Road. Hey, yeah. Okay, let's sit here, let's sit here. They're gonna come for these Impala. They're gonna come for these Impala, hello. We can't move now, Sin. Sorry, I know it's not comfortable. We're just gonna have to sit here. Hey. Phew, look, there's Impala, I haven't even seen them. This is very cool, look at that hunting posture. Look at that hunting posture. Ears flat down, they've seen the Impala, the Impala, I haven't seen them. This is gonna be incredible. A firm tax, uh, Fago Jumbo, they've got the Marla in their sights here, the Marla haven't realized. Um, just come to the sort of western side of quarantine but come along with tele access. They have been spotted. What are you guys waiting for? Come on, you've got the advantage of speed. How's this everybody? Insane. Standing by legs. Oh, okay, we're gonna sit down and have a rest. AFM legs, uh, what's your position? Okay, copy. I'll keep you updated. They're static for now. So cool. So, so cool. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't imagine that. You have no idea the relief I'm feeling right now. And the excitement. Megs, I'm really sorry. My comms are terrible. Just hold on one second. Standing by. This is where it turns into chaos. It's trotting off. I'm warning my Dutch on Voetela Access, Galago uh, Shortcut Junction 1's just got mobile towards Galago Pan. Uh, Tax, can you take over control of the sighting for me? Okay. How awesome is this? Okay, we need to. Uh, Megs, Senzo can't actually do anything until I've moved. Okay, let me just get out of Taxon's way as well. Oh, 
Oh, we're still looking at the, the back of the vehicle. Sorry about that, everybody. There we go. Look at this. This is such magic. They just, I wonder if they're just sitting waiting for the Impala to come through. Big yawn. Oh, that's awesome. I'm so excited. For our new viewers, these are probably the most exciting animals that we see out here. They are so incredibly fast and beautiful and also critically endangered. There's only about maybe just under 200 of them on the reserve that we're on and probably less than 4,000 left in the wild throughout the whole of Africa. So sightings like these are really, really special. And the fact that they're still, for now, gives us an extraordinary opportunity to sit and observe them in the sun. Now, Cedar Point, I mentioned earlier that I could smell them. You want to know what do they smell like? Like wet, very, very dirty dog. And some might describe that as an unpleasant scent. There's the third one back again. Some might describe that as a really revolting scent. I don't feel that way at all. Because of what I associate that smell with, I love it. They smell like wet, musky, dirty dogs. And it's the best smell in the world. Especially when you think you're imagining things, let me tell you. You're sleeping. You guys sleepy. Have you been, have you moved far? Now, those of you with screenshots of the lower Sabi dispersal pack, Oh, I'm a bit worried, not worried about this dog, I'm just a bit confused by its body language. Flop down ears, initially it was the one that was leading the hunt. I wonder if it's just still listening to what's going on around it. It's got a funny posture. Do you see what I mean? Sort of hunched over. I suspect this is the lower Savi dispersal pack. Might just be resting. Oh, they've caught the impala, have caught the smell. Dogs are looking up. There we go. Now that, that dog's absolutely fine. Look, alert, alert posture again. How about now? You were wondering why the impala haven't smelt them. Purely because of the wind. It's the wind. The wind is blowing the ascent of the impala towards the wild dogs and not the other way around. So it's not likely that they've picked up, or unless the wind twirls or circles. Every now and again, one of them gets a whiff of it, though. But they've come from downwind of the Impala, which is good for them. I'm not quite sure why they're not going for them, unless it's just because... No, there we go. See? Here we go. They're so close. That is very typical hunting posture. Please take screenshots for me, everybody. I don't have a camera with me. There they go, there they go. They're up. They're actually, they're ambushing them. They're sneaking up on them. Here they go. Okay, get ready, Sends go wide. Everybody on? You good? Sorry, everybody. Hold on, everybody. Dogs are off, they're so fast. Jumping up and down to see where the rest of the pack's gone, and they've missed. Done. Oh, you guys all okay? Cool. I've still got two passengers on the back, which is wonderful. Hey, that was awesome. But, unfortunately, dog's not lucky. They missed their opportunity, and now they've got to try again. It's nothing like the excitement of a wild dog chase first thing in the morning. <laughs> Who said that scared the Megs? 
How does that you say that scared you? That sudden chase. We also did a rather rapid bump. Okay, we're gonna let tax go ahead for now. All right. Here we go. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Which way are we gonna go, doggies? Okay, we're gonna go that way. Can you believe what a morning we've had? Wild dogs, hyena. And I said to you this morning, buckle up, it's gonna be an exciting ride. I was being sarcastic, but it turned out to be true. Okay, they're gonna disappear soon. Okay, they're gone. Let's go. They're off again. There they go, racing along. This is where it gets tricky, everybody. And they're gonna go down towards the dam. Squirrel's going mental. Go, Lex, go. Yeah, go for it. Hold on. This is going to be such an epic shot in the sunlight. Look at this. Look at it. Oh, it's beautiful. Golden light, golden dogs. Fluffy white tail. Morning sunlight. A recipe for a beautiful morning. Now, uh, if they continue on, unfortunately, given our situation we will lose signal unfortunately but Justin you say such a beautiful coat I know right the painted dog or the painted wolf the painted wolves are off and so are we but oh no into the Mulwenini I mean not the Mulwenini the Mulwati I'm sorry everybody we're going to disappear off your screen shortly. We've oh, poor Senzo and Rollo having their bones rattled this morning. They've raced into the drainage line of the Mulwati. There they go, there they go, in front. Here we go, awesome, well done, Sensor. How lucky are we? Their coats are so utterly gorgeous. All of those splodges of color and the speed with which they move, their constant stamina, their constant movement. And they've been viewed as a, as a pest, as trouble, as vermin for the last century. And it's only in the past few decades that people have started to catch on to just how important these wild dogs are. Even the founders of Kruger, the reserve, saw these creatures as threats to wildlife. And they were to be removed from the area, carnivore extermination. 
so that the antelope species could recover. How how we have Luzon stand by one for these Dutch. Oh, you can make your way. Oh, what's your position? All right, the reason that you'll hear me talking on the radios to communicate with the other vehicles, there are lots of people interested. And because I know that we're going to lose signal very short, very shortly, I'm going to give up my spot. Megs, you want one last shot? There we go. Oh, <laughs> or not. On that note, we're going to remove ourselves from the wild dogs for now. We'll send you over to Taylor. Oh, no. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, Megs, wait. There's one that's coming next to us. It's gonna, there it goes. There we go. Awesome. <laughs> Did I catch you in time, Megs? Did I catch you in times, Megan? I must alive. I did. Perfect. Okay. All right. I know that the signal is going to vanish as soon as I go past this dead tree. From practice now over the last few days, let's go and have a look at Taylor, who is sunbathing on her relaxed morning.